Hey everyone, my name is Evan. I'm a member of the care team here at Sawgrass, and today I'm gonna to show you how to perform an ink charge. Now before we get started, I do wanna say that this uh, process is only recommended to be done once in a 24 hour period, as it will use up to 25% of an ink cartridge. Now the benefits to performing an ink charge is that it's gonna push ink through the print head, it's gonna help push expired ink out of your printer if you ever had any in there, and it is an alternative to performing some page bleeds. So to get started here, we're gonna have to perform these steps on the physical printer itself. Instead of actually going into anything here, we're just gonna wake the printer up. So we're gonna hit menu here to where we can see our ink levels and the waste unit level. Now, in order to perform this, we have to put the printer in what is known as SP mode. So to do this, we have to hold the bottom arrow and the top arrow at the same time for seven seconds and then press OK. Now, it is gonna take you a few tries here to get this. I find that the best method is to press it and then count using the Mississippi method. So we'll do it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. And then we'll press OK, and there's SP mode. Uh, so next here, what we need to do is use the up and down arrow keys to set the number to one. So we have one here, we're gonna hit OK. And then using the left and right keys here, we need to uh, select three, process, and then press OK. And then using the left and right keys, we're gonna go for 008, memory, read, and write. So we have to go over quite a bit of ways here. Oh, uh, that is six, seven, and eight, memory, read, slash, write. We'll hit OK. And then now we're going to use the right and left keys to go for 002 the initial C and T A, and then press OK. Next here, uh, we are going to select on. Now it'll be highlighted. And now we are going to power the printer off. So once on is selected, we will power it down. It'll say shutting down, please wait. Next, you will need to replace those ink cartridges if needed. Again, you will need up to 25% in order to complete this. Uh, so now, whenever you turn your printer back on, it'll start to perform this initial ink fill process. I'll say, please wait, and then it should begin here shortly. And there it goes. So now it is performing the ink charge. Again, this will help push ink out of the lines uh, if you have a severe clog or if you have expired ink in there. So now just wait the seven minutes and then you should be good to go. So that initial ink charge there just finished. So now you'll always want to uh, perform some basic troubleshooting steps like a nozzle check and a primary chart to look for improvement to your prints. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you need additional assistance, do not hesitate to reach out to us at care.sawgrassinc.com. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one.